All right, I'm at this estate sale setting up and doing pretty well. Um, we're moving along. I kind of went room to room as I always do. I don't price too much. Hold on, let me put the lights on. Okay, so I don't price too much and that's just my system. I kind of, I, I know the pricing of stuff and when I don't, I'll look it up, right? And then I'll kind of leave it in its place. This way, it's like a treasure hunt, right? So like when you go to a sale, it's fun to kind of dig in, right? So I went through a lot of this stuff. Um, so this is some Boy Scout stuff. So I went through all the closets, pulled out the better stuff, which is like here. I went through all the drawers, pulled out all the like jewelry kind of stuff, um, some nice uh, metals, military stuff. That goes on the table by me. So this way I could keep an eye on it. So... You know, the people that come to the sales don't really know, right? So they think, oh, they didn't look at anything. Like, let me get in this drawer, right? And let me kind of get in there and find something. But they're not going to find much because I went through it pretty well. And, uh, but it's fun, right? So, so it, it's an understanding. There's a lot of resellers that come to my sale. They know the deal. So, uh, like this, right? Like you would think there's some jewelry in here, right? But we already went through it. And, there's nothing so but it's fun so they get to dig through um nice house you know not a huge sale nothing great great but some nice mid-century stuff um some jewelry some metals some uh he was definitely a military man so some cool stuff um some toys actually i'll bring this up front some perfumes all right, so this is one room. And I'm sorry if it's it's a little dark in this house. Nice uh, lane cedar chest. Kind of funky mid-century furniture. Um, anything with laminate tops is not very desirable. So like cool style, but the top is laminate. So it's just not, this is Bassett. Bassett furniture, American stuff. So not the Danish stuff, which is usually more expensive. So not very designer, but still a cool look. So that'll do well. I pulled out one of the drawers because I had a bunch of sewing stuff. So basically, I'll just go like this. I kind of go drawer to drawer, toss stuff, and just let them dig in. And the people know that people, my regular, the people that come to the sales know, okay, let me grab some of this. Let me grab that, you know, let me grab a piece of clothing and they come and they check out with me. So we kind of do a bundle deal, which works well for everybody. And I, I could usually sense who's who. So if it's a reseller, I have to make a quick decision to know that I can't price it too high because they need to make some money, right? And then, it, so you have to be able to distinguish who's just buying it for themselves as retail because the pricing is going to be different. Some linens in here. Everything sells at the sales. I mean, you know, like kitchen stuff, I'll show you in a moment. Some clothing. Oh, here's, this is a part of that other set. So a desk. I'm sorry if I'm going too fast. Nothing very exciting in these rooms. What's really exciting is the sofa. This I've already got a lot of attention on this. That's like funky, mid-century, very good condition. I don't know if it's coming through, but the colors are vibrant. Very nice. And I, I always think this is so cool. This is like a table that's actually attached to the back of the sofa. And it has fabric on the outside. So nice table lane. Lane doesn't do so well. But you never know. If it's somebody retail and they just like the look, they're going to pay a little more. But in the mid-century world, lane doesn't do too well. Some vintage toys I still have to go through. So this is pretty cool, mid-century modern-ish, probably 60s furniture. The tops come off. What they usually do is throw out the tops because they use these to put their TVs on. Not many people are displaying glass and all that. I don't even take this stuff out. It doesn't do very well at the sales. I mean, I'll allow anybody to kind of get in there and see what they want. 
cool lamps throughout the house. A bunch of unique lamps. Another lane piece, same pattern. Plates everywhere, collectible plates, which don't do well. I, I mean, they're everywhere. This is cool. Bunch of cool collectible spoons. These still hold value. And then a mid-century modern dining set with six chairs, three leaves, nice legs. So that should do okay. More and more plates, some kitchen stuff, not too much. I taped off some, so basically I pulled out the better stuff and taped it off so they're just not wasting their time digging through. But everything sells. I mean, you get people that come and just buy the junk clothing, um, you know, kitchenware, stuff like that, glassware. There's a lot of people that buy and send it back to their country, right? So send it back to their family. So I give them a deal. They basically load up a big bag full of stuff. So it works well for me because I clear it out and, and it helps them. This room's dark. There's no lights. You know, back in the day, they basically used lamps. So... I may have to, the day of the sale, I'm going to have to open up all these windows. So in here, nothing special. Just some stuff that I pulled out of the cabinets. I'll show you my good table in a moment. Nice lamp. Just a regular sofa. This is a really nice lamp. Few things outside barbecue some outdoor table this is lean as well this is a record cabinet so records are hot now right so this will do well not much in here there's a garage that I'll show you, but so this is, I basically went through the entire house and plucked all the like good stuff, the small stuff, right? Stuff that they can't steal and stuff that I need to do some research on. Like these metals here. Most of these are from the Korean War. It looks like Yale. Just a lot of cool stuff, like some of these may be gold. I'm gonna have to go through all of these pins. Just a whole lot of tchotchkes. Pretty cool, respect. Very nice. Yeah, so there's probably some sterling and some gold in here, so I'm gonna have to go through that, separate it. Have my loop here, have my tester in the car if I need it. These are cool. I just did the comps on these. Swiss Army sunglasses. Pretty cool. Leather wrapped. Probably like 50 bucks right there. And that's why they're hiring me. You know, I, I mean, <laughs> you would go to a garage sale and probably get these for a dollar, right? But because I'm researching and they're paying me, I mean, I'm going to maximize their money. So basically, a good estate sale company is going to pay for themselves with their knowledge and work. Boy Scout stuff always does well. Some black and white photos. Some toys. Radio. Nothing there. Nice knife. So, that's that. Plants I give away for free for coming. Very nice house, good neighborhood. It's gonna be a fun sale. Some more clothing in here. Hats. 
Most of these drawers are empty. Glassware. Let me take into the garage. Some other smalls here. It's pretty dark in here. Generators, some tools, stuff like this is just sells super quick. Everything adds up. This is nice. So we're still working on this area. I'm gonna pull some stuff down from here, put it onto tables, organize it, and get ready for this sale. All right, let me know what you liked, what you've seen here, what you would buy. Did I miss anything that's really good? Let me know, comment. gonna be a fun sale all right so the setup is pretty much done at that house um, I'm gonna be looking up a bunch of stuff and then what we'll do is the sales Friday morning I'll come there with my whole crew and we'll kind of go through the entire house again carefully make sure everything is organized right it's safe and uh, and I looked up everything I had to look up for pricing and have a nice successful sale now I'm at my storage unit because I sold something I've been selling clothing I mean I didn't list much you know how it is you have good intentions right like i was supposed to put everything in the bins right there and there's stuff still in the bags so i have to look through and find i sold a pendleton i believe a shirt for like 30 bucks i've been selling crazy stuff like socks for like 15 bucks each like just nuts so clothing is a great game a lot especially a lot of this stuff is like old stock with tags and so new um so enjoying that it's fun when you're working right like so like i'm setting up the sale and cha-ching right like the ebay thing so uh eventually i'll get a system down this is not a correct system and as a reseller as a entrepreneur you really should have a better system set up so it just makes things easier right everything's nice and set up when something sells you pull the order the problem is i have to dig it out take it to my house um, package it and then ship it so for now so no excuses one step at a time and we'll get there we'll get there together if you're going through the same thing i am just keep moving keep moving keep making money and everything once you make the money everything else will get taken care of right so like as you grow you'll figure out what you need and then you adjust so gonna dig that shirt out and um and that's that for now what else was I gonna do? Um, oh, I sold these chairs. That's another thing that came through. Cha-ching, 450. I'm gonna, let me try to show you these chairs. So there's a pair of these white, they're actually vinyl, they look leather. The cushions, this one's upside down. But anyway, so it's a pair of chairs, mid-century modern. There's the other one. Obviously not organized the way they should be, but I'm gonna pull them out, clean them up a little bit and get them ready. Um, the buyer messaged me, it's gonna be a local pickup on this, 450 for those, 30 bucks plus shipping by the way on the shirt. I'll post, I'll post a couple of things that sold recently on eBay for me here. You know, as you know, my eBay, I don't even have a store yet, I'm gonna get a store, but I only have, I have under, like under 70 listings but it's already starting like cha-ching, cha-ching, you know, like the stuff is starting to move, you know? So I, I gotta, I'm, I'm gonna try to do everything. So this way there's multiple streams of income, the estate sale, the mid-century modern stuff, the eBay. So I'm gonna pull these out, clean them up nice. And the buyer message me, he's gonna be here in two weeks. So local pickup, which is fine. I'll clean them up, wrap them up, put them away. And, um, and that's that. So that's that.
that's my day. I mean, I'm going to be doing some more stuff. I'm probably going to grab another bag, take that so I can list. And um, hope you're doing well. Hope you're enjoying the videos. Comment, subscribe. Um, let me know what you think. And um, hopefully I can help you out. And uh, this is what it's all about. This is the life of a reseller. Especially if you're hustling. Because you're just doing a bunch of stuff, right? And it's feel-good stuff. Like, it never really feels like I'm working. I, I gotta be honest with you. As much as I run around and I'm doing this, and things may look unorganized, but as you know, it, it, it oddly is, right? So it may look messy and, and busy, but I know exactly what's happening, and um, and uh, it's it's working out well, so... All right, so I'm gonna end up selling the jeans locally to a person from Boston. So that text you see is from a, I'm not sure if he's a uh, clothing collector or a reseller, whatever, I don't care, 1300 cash for two pairs. So that expensive pair of Levi's, and then I had another pair that was pretty good, um, as in good vintage quality, but it was in rough condition. So anyway, I made a combo deal, 1300 cash, you know, so, Sometimes you need to kind of see what works best for you. I mean, I tried eBay. I jacked up the price pretty high. I was asking like 2000 for the one pair. And I had a bunch of watchers, but zero offers. So I'm like, you know what? And you know how it is with eBay, right? With high ticket stuff, you never know. Are you going to send it there? Are they going to rip the tags off? Because it was old stock, right? New with original tags. Were they going to return the item? You never know. So anytime you get an opportunity to actually sell it cash locally, take it and run. I went to a estate sale lead the other day. It didn't work out, but they ended up giving me the chandelier, actually a pair. I put one in my storage already. This like antique brass chandelier. And I'm like, you sure you don't want to sell that at your sale? He had it in his car, so I, I guess he just needed to get rid of it. So I'm like, sure, I'll take it. So I'm going to list this. I already listed this locally. No action. It'll probably go on eBay. I'm trying to sell it local because it's pretty big. But I could always box it up. So that'll go online. Then I have some stuff here that I picked up the other day. Like a radio. Antique radio. Military hat. Some vintage hats. A whole bag. These are old cigarettes. Remember these? Merit. Vintage radio. And this is like a CB radio. You always want to grab some of these do really well. Check, check. Junk reseller. Come in. All right. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Follow me on Instagram if you're on there. If you're not, you should because there's a amazing reseller community on there that will help you and you'll learn from so i'm rick relentless on instagram and i'm gonna get to work hope you are as well take care